What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to get started with Timetable Responsive Shadow for WordPress. This is one of the best premium WordPress plugins that generate timetables for events and have a fancy look and a modern look. First of all, we're gonna go to Envato Marketplace to Code Canyon and add this plugin to your cart to purchase it. You're gonna get these files and go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, select the .zip file that you're gonna got from Code Canyon website and upload to your WordPress website. After that, you're gonna activate the plugin. As soon as you activate the plugin, you can find four new buttons into your WordPress left sidebar on your dashboard, the timetable, the timetable bookings, the timetable columns, and the events. Every single one of these is going to be explored in this video. But to get started with, you can make this thing simpler to understand the plugin usage by importing the dummy data, the dummy content, the demo content of this plugin. This is going to import events, columns, and example page so you can understand the plugin usage from the background, from the back end. As soon as you have completed the demo import, the dummy content import, go to your page and type timetable. And as you can see, you have five new pages imported to your WordPress dashboard. Let's apply those pages into the menu so we can view it on the site front end as a visitor gonna see. Let's organize the menu. Let me rename this page for just timetable. And let us view the site. Now on our menu, we have two timetables, one with a drop down and one alone. And if you click on it, you can see a week of events, the times, rooms, descriptions, and if you click on the event, you can open and see the event with some nice short codes. If you go to the timetable short code generator, you can select what you want to call into your page. You can change the colors, the configuration, the fonts, the booking, and apply custom CSS in the case that you want. But before we can explore that, let's go to the events. It's the most important thing of your timetable. You need to create events. For example, a Zumba class or a Open Gym for Gym classes. So go to events, add new, and create our new event. Now let's go to the columns. If you want to talk about days of week, you can create columns like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and Saturday. But you can type months in the case that you want. But the hour that you're gonna start your event gonna be combined with this day. For example, you create an event called Open Gym. This one. And in this event, you can populate the timetable by setting times and days of week, the timetable columns and the times. If you go to the event page, scroll down and you can see a lot of options. And here in the event hours, you can see the times that the event gonna begin. First of all, select the timetable column. This event gonna happen in a Thursday. Gonna start at 10 o'clock, for example, ends at 11 o'clock. And if you go to this day, you can see the open table. You can apply a booking button, but let's check 
the timetable short code generator now. So we can call this customized columns into your pages or posts. First of all, you need to select the event. You can select one by one by using the shift or shift A to select all the events. After that, the categories, the columns, in this case, going to be the days of the week. But you can use your creativity, so feel free to play with this. I'm imagining something like a school that gonna repeat the events every single week or something like a gym. You can set every single part of your timetable. And as soon as you complete this panel, you can see in the end or in the beginning of this panel, a short code starting with the T. You can also set colors, fonts, booking, or apply custom CSS. For the booking, you can apply some message. Copy to clipboard and go to pages, add new. So we can post this short code that we just get created. Let's give this page some title, some name and preview it. As you can see, no events available. available. Why? Because there's no events in the days that we set. Because we just have set Zumba and in a couple of categories. Let's select Open Gym as event as well as Zumba and select every single event category. Let's copy to clipboard the short code that is going to change. As soon as you change something in the settings panel, you change something in the short code. Copy this new short code, post to the page, and you can see the new timetable showing your events. You can play with the color and style and create amazing pages and combine this with your already made layouts using any plugin that you like. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with compatibility with this and many other plugins. And I see you later. All the best!